Hello, all of you wonderful people, and welcome back to the Slack and Armchair Supporter channel. I'm here with another match preview video. This time it is for an absolutely massive fixture, one of the biggest rivalries in English football. It's Manchester United versus Liverpool. I love to hate these games, or I hate to love these games. I don't know how to word it, but I hate them and I love them. It's such a big game. I grew up watching Liverpool and we always seem to lose against United. And it's horrible. We always seem to lose against United. Obviously, the tables have turned a little bit in recent times. They were very lucky to scrape a draw at Anfield earlier on in the league. But, you know, like last year, Liverpool winning 7-0. There's been a couple of huge victories for Liverpool. And it just means so much winning this game. And it's the quarterfinal of the FA Cup. It's a huge, huge game. I'm going to try to predict it. I don't know if I will. Um, I'm going to do my best. Form tends to go out the window in these games because it, it, it just does. Both these teams, when it's this fixture, both teams perk themselves up. If United are terrible, they will be up for this fixture. If Liverpool are in a rut and having a bit of bad form, they will be up for this fixture. It does not matter. When it comes to this game, form is out the window and they they just throw themselves at it, which is probably why I love it. I just don't like losing it. So if you're new to the channel, what I do in my match previews is I go through how the match is gonna how I think the match is gonna go, then I'll give you a score prediction, and then I'll give you a lineup prediction and who I think is gonna be on the pitch come Sunday. And that's that's how it goes. And then if you want, you can tell me I'm wrong or you can tell me I'm right. Get in the comments. Let me know how I've done. And that's that's how these work. So if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Also, please like the video if you're enjoying the content and also hit that subscribe button. On that point, I must say, yesterday's stream with the Sparta Proud game was absolutely massive for me. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I did have a goal of making 100 subscribers before the end of the season, well, I don't know what happened, but yesterday we broke that. I mean, I need, I was slowly creeping along and creeping along, one here or there. I was on 88, I'm now on 101. So thank you guys so much. That's absolutely incredible. So with that in mind, I'm going to actually set a new target for 150 subscribers to see, just to see if we can do that. I mean, uh, I, I really didn't expect to get to 100 because it's just, it was just really slow. Just But yesterday, it just seemed to grab a bit of traction. And yeah, subscribers went through the roof. So honestly, guys, thank you so much. I am just in such a great mood today. So let's get in to the match preview. So yeah, as I said, anyway, Liverpool United, huge, huge game. Liverpool, Liverpool in a great bit of form, actually. You know, on for a quadruple having a season that not many people thought that we would have. I certainly didn't. Um, and yeah, just through to another quarterfinal as well in Europe last night after demolishing Sparta Prague 6-1 on the night, 11-2 on aggregate. And wow, what a fun game that was to watch. It got, uh, got a bit slow towards the end, but you expect that. That's fine. 6-1. Like, what a great result. United, United are a bit of a... Well, not a yo-yo team. Their form is a, like a yo-yo. It goes up and down. They're, um, you just don't know what you're going to get with United. I mean, some days they play some decent football and then other days they're just, you know, like against City. They played City. I, I watched quite a bit of that game and they played pretty well for 20 minutes. They got themselves a goal and then, you know, they're away to City and they were just sort of like, oh yeah, no, we've won this game, you know. It's 1-0 still at half time. City came out 1-3-1. They, they just turn off at the wrong times when you don't expect them to turn off. And then then when, at the end of the game, obviously I'm scrolling through social media and you see the stats and you're just like, it didn't look like that when you when you watched the game. But the stats were just so damning at the end of that game. City were all over them and it was all in the second half. So you just really don't know what you're going to get from United. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping they come to us and that or we go to them and they're quite poor actually um which is going to lead me now into my score prediction um i actually actually before i get onto the score prediction 
also a lot of people I've seen, you know, other channels, social media, I go, I go through a lot of it and just try to keep a bit up to date with what's going on. A lot of people writing Liverpool off. A lot of people are oh, United are going to do this. United are going to knock Liverpool out, ruin their chances of quadruples, whatever. Don't write United off. Don't write Liverpool off. Have you not seen what Liverpool are doing? Liverpool were nowhere near favourites for the league title at the start of the year. And I absolutely loved it. We just quietly went about our business, winning games, gaining points. Then at the turn of the year, all of a sudden people are like, well, Liverpool are there or thereabouts. Maybe we should pay attention to what they're doing. So then all of a sudden the spotlight's now on Liverpool, still in four competitions, at the top of the table, doing really well, and all of a sudden spotlight, and it's just like, oh yeah, Liverpool this, Liverpool that. And you're trying to write that off. You think that United are going to beat that Liverpool team? <laughs> come on. Come on. Anyway, score prediction. <clears throat> At Old Trafford, 3-1. It's a Liverpool score, a score, score line. I always, that is a Liverpool score line, 3-1, isn't it? We've had a lot of 3-1s this year. It's been a while since we had one, though. And I think that's going to be it. I think that's fair. Um, you'll see by my score, my um, lineup prediction. I think we, I, I am, I am a little bit confident going into this one. We're on a very good high. United are, not on much of a high. I mean, they got beaten against City and then they played again last week. I, I don't even know who. I think I think they probably won that. But it probably wasn't a convincing win. And I just... I think Liverpool, the form that we're in, which it, I honestly don't see us losing to United in an FA Cup quarterfinal right now. I just cannot see it. So, I, you know, fair enough. Come Sunday, we might do. And I'll eat my words. Fair enough. But... I think Liverpool 3-1. Um, yeah, you guys get in the chat. Let me know what you think it's going to be uh, in the comments below. Um, so now I'll go on to my lineup. And this is what this is why I think we're going to win by 3-1. Because we have a very good lineup. Kelleher in goal, of course. The world's best number two keeper at the moment, isn't he? Um, Robertson at left back. Bradley at right back. And Bradley's, what, 20 years old? He's... Honestly, I'd nearly keep him there and put Trent into midfield when Trent comes back because he's been something else. For such a young lad being just thrown in at the deep end, he's been incredible. And he had another great performance last night against Sparta. And yeah, long may it continue. Really happy for him and delighted to have him in our squad. Um, then, of course, Van Dijk and Gomez. I was just watching a bit of the press conference with Jurgen Klopp. Canate... Didn't train today. It's possible he might train tomorrow, but then it'll be an absolute race for him to be fit for this game. So, not likely. So, I left Canate out. Um, also, while I'm on injury news from that press conference, um, they asked about after the international break, who's due back? Curtis Jones should be due back for the first game, for the Brighton game, I think it is, the first game back. And then... Jota and Trent will be back for the following game. So that's all good news as well for Liverpool, just when we need them back. And just when, you know, if we had Jones, a bit of rotation in midfield would be nice. Um, it was either youngsters or trying to put together a midfield. And if we had Jones, you know, the likes of Sabaslai back now, you've got a chance to rotate, which will be a huge, huge boost for Liverpool in this running. Then in midfield, I've gone with Endo, McAllister and Sobosly, I mean Endo and McAllister, the little Japanese samurai. He's an absolute warrior. I absolutely love Endo. And McAllister, he's he's, he's been absolutely incredible. Sobosly is a bit up and down, but he, he works hard. He works hard and he, he pops up and gets the odd goal here or there. Like Sparta, two goals against Sparta over the two legs. You know, one coming back from injury. And then last night, and, you know, that's what you want. But he, he was also very good creative-wise down the right-hand side, linking up with Salah and linking up with Bradley. They had a nice little you know, triangle going on between them, very tricky down that right-hand side. And it caused Sparta problems in the first 14 minutes, as we've seen. 
they conceded four goals. So, Sabosli in there, definitely. Up top, Diaz, he did have a break against Sparta. He needed it. He was starting to frustrate me to watch him. He was getting very poor, wasteful with chances. That City game, I, I can't. I just can't go back to the City game. All I'll say is he was very wasteful. Could have had the game dead and buried. Nunes through the middle. Salah on the right. I think the team pretty much picks itself for Jürgen this week. Then there's going to be a nice couple of weeks rest for the international break. That's my lineup, guys. Again, in the, get in the comments. Let me know how you think I did. What would you, you would what would you change? Yeah, I, I I think it pretty much picks itself up. Maybe you could go with Simicat at left back. Robertson was tested last night at centre back. He played. A good, I'd say about 40 minutes at centre-back, which was a bit... No, it would have been 45 minutes because Gomez came off... Yeah, it would have been a half at centre-back. It was it was a strange one. So Robertson and Simicas, maybe he, maybe Klopp's planning on something in case, you know, Canate's out for longer than expected, which is what my initial thought was. Maybe Canate's going to be a long-term injury. Uh, maybe we'll, we're testing Robertson at centre-back. You know, you, there's a few changes you can make in there. Obviously, you can put a... a Load of youngsters in there. You could put Dan's up top if you wanted to. Kumas on the left. Let me know. Get in the chat. So just to go through that in full, it's Kelleher, Robertson, Van Dyke, Gomez, Bradley, Endo, McAllister, Soboslai, Diaz, Salah, Nunes. Yeah, like I said, let me know, guys. And also get in some score predictions as well before the game. So again, thanks everybody who tuned in. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um yeah, if you haven't already, hit that like button and please hit that subscribe button. We're going for 150 before the end of the season. Let's see if we can do that. I appreciate every single one of you. Again, this is going to be at Old Trafford, half past three on Sunday. I might not be streaming. I do. I'm After last night's stream, I really want to do a stream because I really appreciate what, what happened last night. Like It was an absolute massive stream. And I want to strike while the iron's hot. I want to give you the content and... Just, you know, I enjoy doing it. So, you know, while while I've got that buzz, I just want to do it. The only thing is it's going to be difficult for me to find a location to do it. But I'm going to try everything I can. So if that is the case, I'm going to be live at about quarter past three, just before the game, like I always am, Sunday, half past three. And yes, I really do hope to see you all in there again. And until next time, up the fucking Reds.